like I need to push it up. Yeah. This is an old book bindery. It's called a bindery. They still do printing. Obviously, this is our chart. So you can see where all the cup holders are. And obviously, the back right, you've got the three. It's a little bit asymmetrical. There's some uh, AC stuff we had to house over here, so we couldn't do three on each side. Otherwise, we would have 20. This is the magical 19th. But also helpfully, uh, this will hold an iPad Pro, one of the larger ones in there too. So if whoever the kid is in the back, he's going to have that, uh, that option as well. Um, here is the new Ascent. Um, in terms of styling, we focused on keeping it very super like, as you can tell, a much more bluff front end though. A bigger grill, bluff the front end. Still with our Hawkeye head like the octagonal grill, which we've always had. So we wanted to give it a little bit more beefy appearance. But the one thing our customers clearly told us, they want a bigger Subaru, not something else. You know, this one, they want it to look like a Subaru. And like we said, when you look at this car, even though it's got this gorgeous interior, you can still get, get it really dirty, take it off road. The other thing is, uh, Peter mentioned, all about the packaging on this car, the doors open really wide. And when you, when you open the doors and you go in the rear seats, they're super light to touch and move. We know kids are gonna be pushing those seats forward and backwards. We know the kids are gonna be flipping the seats. So because of that, very simple, very light to use. We think we've really done a great job on making our interiors a bit better. And we've been knocked on that in the past. We've really focused on improving that. And then, once again, packaging. Great rear seat leg room. Third row leg room is also really good. Those of you who are uh, serial Subaru spotters will notice something different on this vehicle. And that is this fuel door. You push that, it pops open. Every Subaru until now has had a little switch down by your uh, below your foot that you've had to open. And one of the main complaints to our customers when we told them we were doing this is they were afraid that people would now be able to steal their gas. No, this locks when you lock the doors on the cars. Because we say our, our owners are quite thrifty and they, they think of things like that. We come around to the back row here. Third row up, you can fit a dog carrier because it wouldn't be a Subaru if you couldn't bring along your pet. Very important for us, so it will fit this. And that was the other thing, that one of the reasons, we're about five inches longer than a uh, Highlander. Two things from that, you can actually have some real luggage space, you can fit coolers behind here, even when all seats are occupied. Um, but also, you've got more rear crush, so it's a safer vehicle in the case of a, of a rear end collision. Um, as Peter was mentioning, you've also got cargo under here. In certain parts of Oregon, you would be transporting your hemp. <laughs> Other parts of Oregon, a little bit further east, you'll be transporting your rifles, I believe, is the general makeup. But yes, yeah, so you can fit a dog carrier. Now, when you go and you, you put these seats down, I gotta get this right, so our, our, volume, our cargo volume with the third row down, you can hold 500 flannel shirts. <laughs> We've actually counted them out. We've got the boxes over there. 500 flannel shirts for anything you want to do in the Northwest. So now you may want to take a put your video cameras up here because we know the reality when you when you're buying this car, there's probably one thing you're going to be doing. You're turning into soccer moms and dads. You're going to spend a lot of time taking your kids to soccer practice and travel games. So. When you fold the second and third row down, that's 86.5 cubic feet or 230 soccer balls. 